Simone Fernando Sacconi. Simone Fernando Sacconi, May 30, 1895, in Rome, June 26, 1973, in Point Lookout, was an expert Italian violin maker and restorer who studied fellow luthier Antonio Stradivari extensively during his lifetime. While still at school, he became a workshop assistant to Giuseppe Rossi, a pupil of Degani. By the time he was 16, Sacconi already had his own clientele and a particular ability as a maker of copies. In 1931, he moved to New York to work for the dealer Emil Hermann. He continued to make new instruments and occasionally bows, but his time there was mainly taken up with repairs and restoration work. In this field, he had no equal. An example of his work being a Stradivari of the best period, virtually destroyed in an accident in 1948, which now shows no sign of having suffered. In the imitation of old Italian varnish, he excelled all rivals. In 1951, upon the invitation of Rimbert Wurlitzer, Sacconi went with his pupil Dottili to work for Rimbert Wurlitzer Company. A first-class workshop was built up and many of the best American repairers were trained in it. In his last years, he spent much time teaching in Cremona, Italy, and published I Segreti di Stradivari Cremona, 1972, setting out in detail Stradivari's working methods. Charles Baer, his constant experiments with varnish was almost an obsession. He was one of the principal organizers of the Stradivari Bicentennial Exhibition in Cremona in 1937. Sacconi won gold medal for a quartet of instruments. In 1972, he was bestowed honorary citizenship by Cremona the highest honor. In 2012, nine of Sacconi's medals were discovered shortly before they were due to be melted down. Of the medals, one was awarded to Sacconi by his pupils, and is engraved with their names, Segal, Esposti, Zambelli, and Bissolati. Also found was the medal awarded by the city of Cremona, medals marking the bicentennial of the death of Stradivarius, and two wartime medals awarded for service during World War. I. Sacconi has directly influenced several generations of makers-slash-restorers. Charles Baer, Max Mahler, Pierre Vidaudes, Dario de Tilly, Hans Weishar, Jack Frankeis, Frank Passa, Bernard Millant, Mario F. D'Alessandro, Harry Duffy, René Moore, William Salchow, Hans Neville, Roland Feller, Pahakan Nigogosian C. Ray Ferguson, Carlos R. Siri, David Segel, Carl. Through his disciples such as Jack Frankeis slash René Moore, he has influenced makers slash restorers such as Samuel Zygmuntowicz, Horacio Pinero, Morris Zverdlik, Jerry Pacewix, Bogoslaw Keta, David T. Van Zant, Andrew Dipper, James N. McKean, Christophe Landon, Richard Oppelt, Jonathan Woolston. Many celebrated musicians came to him for advice and entrusted him with their precious instruments when they needed attention. List includes Isaac Stern, Yehudi Menuhin Salvator Accardo, Pina Carmierly, Pablo Casals, Paul Doctor, Pierre Fournier, Zeno Franceschetti, Joseph Futch, Rea Garbausova, Carlo Maria Giolini, Bruno Giorena, Franco Gulli, Charles Lebov, Erica Morini, Andre Navarro, Ruggiero. His main publication was I Segreti di Stradivari, translated into many languages and sold worldwide. Simone Sacconi is recognized as one of the important contemporary violin makers. His book explains the construction techniques used by Stradivari with clarity and precision. It is considered an indispensable reference for both the professional and novice violin maker, Eric Blot. Sacconi was described as a hero of the art of violin making. Andrea Masconi every detail absorbed his complete attention Carlos Arcieri. Arcerieris, Arcerieris, Arcerier. Described by many expert artisans as an exalted beacon of contemporary restorers and conservators, though one of the greatest violin makers slash restorers of our time, Simone Fernando Sacconi, Juan Zambelli. Fernando was a man of many interests. He was a superb photographer, avid saltwater fisherman, musician, small game hunter, mushroom researcher. Epicurean and wonderful friend and neighbor.